Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the brand new Burrard Center and home of the Delta Dental Smile Club. My name is Kevin Quavillian, Executive Director of the Boys and Girls Club. Joining us here tonight are board members, staff, volunteers, donors, and the reason we love what we do, some of our very own club members. We would not be here with big news tonight if we're not for all of you and your generosity with your time and your resources. So please join me in giving all of you a wholehearted thank you through a round of applause. Tonight, we are here to unveil what has been happening behind the blue doors of the Boys and Girls Club. For the past several months, we have been working with Keller Construction, the City of Stevens Point and their staff, and various volunteer committees to create the Burrard Center. At the same time, we have had a team of dental experts representing Delta Dental of Wisconsin, Ministry Dental, Private Dentists, and Portage County Health plan our new Delta Dental Smile Club. The Building Great Futures Capital Campaign was created to construct a new permanent home for the Stevens Point Club, relocate the teen center to this new facility, renovate our Plover Club, enhance the safety and security of all of our Portage County Club sites, and provide more meals and snacks through new kitchen facilities. And wait till you see that kitchen. Wow. Nestled between PJ Jacobs Junior High and the former Mid-State Technical College, the new Burrard Center is perfectly situated for easy access by youth of all ages. And tonight is the first time we have recognized that our goals, objectives, and dreams will become a reality for kids in Portage County. But first, we wanted to show you the product of great futures as we welcome to the stage, or to the front, our Almond Bancroft Club Member Drumline.
you have another one? No, that's it. <laughs> I really do know what's going on. <laughs> Thank you for that awesome performance. Can you believe that in 2014, the Boys and Girls Club registered over 1,300 youth members and averaged 250 to 350 youth per day? In 2015, we've been bursting at the seams with even higher numbers and can't wait to open the Burrard Center to serve even more. We have hundreds of families who trust and depend on the Boys and Girls Club to provide their children with positive programs after school and during the summer. One set of parents is Sean and Cindy Wall, who involve their children at the Jefferson Elementary School Center and the Club Teen Center. Please welcome Sean and his wife Cindy and their children, Dylan and Christian, who are proud members of the Boys and Girls Club as they share their story. staff of Boys and Girls Club asked me if I would say a few things about what the club means to us. I uh, didn't hesitate to say that I'd be more than happy to. Uh, when they told me to keep it to two to three minutes, that was the issue. <laughs> but that being said, here goes. Uh, my kids have been a part of the Boys and Girls Club since my daughter Dylan was in kindergarten, so roughly about seven years for her. Uh, my son Christian started coming to the club when he was in kindergarten, so it's been about three years for him as well. Uh, we saw it as another outlet for my then little girl to meet some new friends and to do some different activities instead of going just to daycare and spending the day there. Uh, little did we know then that the impact this, of this organization would have not only on my kids' lives, but on the lives of my wife and I as well. When I was growing up, I had a stay-at-home mom waiting for me at home after school. I'd run home from school knowing she was home, had someone to talk to about my day, had someone to help me with homework. Well, in this day and age, stay-at-home mom and dad really isn't as commonplace anymore. Uh, my wife and I both work full-time. We usually don't get home till 5 o'clock. My kids don't have the luxury of being able to come home at night and having their parents there. Uh, what they do have is the Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club is a place where my kids can go to talk with their friends talk with the staff about their day and help them with their homework. Uh, they get to do fun activities, they get to run around outside and play. Uh, I can't tell you how many times my little boy <laughs> come to pick him up and the staff calls his name, hear him coming down the hallway laughing, huffing and puffing, just this little ball of sweat. <laughs> yeah. That kid right there. Uh, these are the days I usually get, oh, why are you here already? Doesn't even want to come home with his dad. <laughs> Wants to stay at the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, he goes to the Jefferson Center because he goes to Jefferson Elementary School, so the sheer convenience is outstanding. Uh, my daughter has moved on to middle school, right over here at PJ's. Um, much too cool for us now, so... <laughs> I want to thank you for being up here. <laughs> I feel a little bit cooler just having you this close. Uh, my kids both love going to the BGC as it is, and now they get to participate and be a part of the new Garage Center. Uh, not that they didn't love the BGC enough as it is, now they get this. Uh, my kids will be able to have opportunities to do things <coughs> and participate in events that I never got to as a kid. They get to be a part of something so awesome in this community. I never had to worry about my kids after school because they had this. You always want a better life for your kids. You want better than what you had growing up because they're your kids. And you want the best in life for them. 
I can say without a doubt that the BGC has made a huge difference in the lives of my kids and my family. They get the safety, the caring, the great times that the club has to offer. And now they have the new Barack Center. Now that they have here, I know they're gonna have this for years to come. <laughs> Provides a place for my kids to be safe and have fun when I and my wife can't be there. And as a parent, that's what you want for your kids. You want them to be safe, you want them to be cared for. And they get that here. So I'd like to say thank you to all the donors that have always supported the Boys and Girls Club over the years, as well as the donors that have made this awesome facility what it is today. Hope you're all aware of the difference you're making in so many kids' lives, including these two. So thank you very much. Yeah. That was great. Was awesome. Thank you. Thank you again. Um, Thank you for your encouraging words. We are so thankful to have this family as part of our Boys and Girls Club family. Next, I would like to introduce our pace setter donors, each of whom gave $1 million, $1 million, to turn our dreams into a reality. To begin, Bob and Mary Berard have been longtime supporters of the club, and for this project, it's no different. When visiting with Bob and Mary, they felt they could leave their own legacy by contributing to a project that will positively impact the lives of kids and this community for a very long time. They shared with me a story about one of their own employees at their farm who really values the club and what the club provides for their children. So they were very interested in helping the Boys and Girls Club increase its impact. Please give them a warm welcome as one of our pace setter donors, Bob and Mary Bernard. square foot building. It's amazing. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Wow. <laughs> and thanks to all of you that worked so hard on the committee, the boards, to get this to become a reality. I can't imagine all the time put in to, to make this happen. So thank you for that. And um, I just imagine how many lives this will positively impact the Boys and Girls Club. Now, the numbers I didn't verify, these were given to me by Brittany, so if I'm wrong, Kevin, don't, don't say anything. <laughs> um, the Boys and Girls Club is expecting to see, this Boys and Girls Club is expecting to see 100 kids every day, grades one through 12, during the school year, it'll be after, after school during the school year, and then in the summer, it'll be all day long. So 100 kids every day, and the best part is, even though it costs over $600 a year per child, it's only $10. The $10 cost has stayed consistent as the club staff and the board both believe that in this place, it is the one time that kids can walk through these doors and just be kids. There's no financial stigmas on them and they're all on an equal playing field. So who could ask for a better place for kids? One of the main initiatives of the Boys and Girls Club is to make sure that no child leaves the club hungry. And that kitchen is awesome. <laughs> this year alone, the club served around 800 breakfasts, 7,000 lunches, and 25,000 free healthy snacks to the club members. And now with the commercial grade kitchen built into the new Burrard Center, we know that fewer kids hopefully will, go, will not, will, 
fewer kids will go hungry, sorry. Bob and I truly believe in the Boys and Girls Club and have been supporters for about 10 years now. Ever since we won an auction item at a fundraiser for the club. John. <laughs> we won it. <laughs> we really did win. It was a dinner. The item was a dinner with John and Patty Noel. And now we're the lucky ones to call them dear friends. And to say thank you for showing us how to be better people. <laughs> anyway, and thank you so much to each and every one of you for supporting the Boys and Girls Club. We can't wait to see how many doors of opportunity are open for Kilt Club kids in 2016. Thank you, Bob and Mary. Next, I'd like to introduce our second pace setter, pace setter donor, Delta Dental of Wisconsin. Delta Dental of Wisconsin has been a supporter of the Boys and Girls Club from the very beginning, and have always believed in and supported our mission to inspire and enable all youth, especially who, knew, who need us most. As many of you know, they are supporters of not only our organization, but so many throughout the community and statewide. We couldn't have completed this project without their extremely generous support. Please welcome up Dennis Brown of Delta Dental of Wisconsin. You know, being part uh, Chippewa Indian, when the kids came up here and were beating on their drums, I thought, holy Moses, they're gonna ask me to do some kind of drum dance. <laughs> I don't know any, <laughs> but I'll make one up because I'm sure you don't know whether I know it or not. <laughs> so uh, let me just say, uh, first of all, I want to recognize um, I, I'm the outgoing or almost outgoing Indian at uh, Delta. I'm going to retire in uh, April. And, uh, so for those of you who haven't met my replacement, who is a Norwegian, I think, um, <laughs> Uh, Peter's in the <laughs> uh, so what does that say about Delta? You know, we're going from Indians to Norwegians, and uh, I don't know where this company's going, but uh, anyway, I, I want you to meet uh, Stand Up Denny. Uh, Denny Peterson, he's... he's, uh, he's uh, uh, happy to say that the uh, board of directors appointed uh, Denny as my replacement, so... Um, you know, it's been a corporate mission of uh, Delta to uh, uh, promote oral health uh, within the, the whole area that we serve. Um, and so our involvement with this uh, was partly motivated by, uh, and I haven't seen it yet, uh, maybe a lot of you haven't, uh, I guess they call it the smile room. Uh, it's a little bit of a, a dental facility here that's intended to be preventative do such things as oral health screening, fluoride varnish, uh, tooth sealants, and uh, toothbrush pro programs. And um, the other motivation we have in, 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 in contributing to the uh, Boys and Girls Club and to uh, uh, creating this room is, is uh, all of the kids that are served, this is a, a, a good primary age to uh, in, engage all of them and start uh, developing good oral health uh, habits and, and so you know there's it, it all kind of flowed together and um, um, so all I can say is uh, uh, we are we are just proud as can be to be uh, associated with the Berards and uh, everybody else who has uh, contributed uh, uh, to this um, uh, fundraising um, uh, endeavor and, and uh, uh, it's just appropriate for us uh, and I'm sure for everybody else that uh, you know we just try to be good, good corporate citizens and um, uh, do our part and, and uh, getting involved with uh, all sorts of uh, worthwhile organizations and endeavors and uh, this certainly is one of them and, and we're proud to be part of it so thank you. Well, thank you.
thank you very much, Denny, and you know, kind remarks. And um, we're, we cannot believe, uh, and we are so grateful and humbled, that we would have not one pace setter, but two pace setters. Um, two $1 million gifts is more than our team could have dreamed of at the beginning of this project. And in honor of these two incredible um, gifts, I'd like to have Bob and Mary and Jenny Brown come back up. school kids and um, the Clover uh, Club. And these symbolize what will happen this spring. Uh, we, were, we are going to have another ceremony where we plant two trees in your honor uh, as symbolizing uh, your generous gift to the Boys and Girls Club. They'll be out on Michigan Avenue so the world can see. And how fitting, growing great strong trees like we're gonna grow great strong kids in Portage County thanks to these two great um, family and organization. So. <laughs> As many of you recall, in December of 2014, we announced our Building Great Futures capital campaign with a goal of 4.2 million. At the new Burrard Center, we anticipate 300 more children annually and membership is anticipated to grow by more than 24% thanks to the opening of this new site. The estimated number of snacks in a year will approach 30,000 and meals will surpass 10,000. This is 15,000 more snacks and meals per year than served uh, today. Fewer kids will go hungry. No child will lack food in Portage County, as long as they come here. <laughs> this project has been years in the making. The club's past board presidents from throughout our history, 13 years worth, came together without hired professional consultation to initiate this campaign. With a goal of 4.2 million, thanks to the generosity of 236 individuals and local businesses, we raised $226,430 in in-kind gifts 4,236,724,000 dollars in uh, cash, and for a grand total of 4,463,154 dollars. You are amazing. <laughs> we know who the real heroes are. They are each and every one of you. Our dreams have become a reality for the youth of Portage County. Thank you so much for your generosity. Together we will continue to open new doors and build great futures for our kids. Now, I would like just Please, all past presidents that are here, please give a big wave. And I want to thank you for coming together and um, doing this project. So we want to see a wave from our past presidents. <laughs> then I would be chagrined if I didn't mention that there was 
a little superstar here that did an amazing job. Um, this was her first capital campaign. Oh heck, it was all of our first capital campaigns. <laughs> what are we talking about? And Brittany, please give it a wave. <laughs> Brittany was wonderful. We thank you so much, Brittany. And then, of course, there's Kevin. Since the beginning, when we hired Kevin, and he actually took the job when we, we had no building, we had no money, we had nothing. <laughs> That's true. But a dream. And he believed our dream, and the dream of the 25 people that had come together to say, we're going to make this work. And he came aboard. And we have been eternally grateful ever since. We are grateful for his fearless leadership, his kind heart, his thoughtfulness, and his talent. And the fact that he just happens to be a former Boys and Girls Club member himself just adds a sweet touch. Thank you, Kevin, for 13 years to the Boys and Girls Club of Portage County. This organization has grown so much under your leadership, and thousands of kids and families' li lives have been changed thanks to you. Let's all give Kevin one more big round of applause for his hard work and dedication. Thank you, Patty. <laughs> um, my mom's here. Mom, can you stand up? Yay. And my wife, April, and the kids. <laughs> that wasn't in the script. I had to embarrass them there. <laughs> um, this has been an incredible year. We couldn't have achieved all that we have without your help. Please give yourselves all one more round of applause, please. As a note, the Burrard Center's official grand opening will be on Saturday, February 6th, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. with food, games, and fun for the whole family. So please mark that on your calendars and don't miss it. We will be opening this Monday for kids, just so everyone knows. Um, we will be starting with some of our current members. We'll have buses coming from each of the elementary schools to this site. So the staff are, will be getting right to work tomorrow, getting ready for the kids to come. Right, Danielle? I took tomorrow off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and you know, our staff have done so much uh, the last year plus, so if all the staff could raise their hand. Um, I think they're all wearing Boys and Girls Club shirts, but uh, please everyone thank them too. All right, before we get to the tours, we'd like to assemble our speakers from tonight along with some club members to snap a ceremonial picture of how we are unlocking and opening doors to great futures. Please feel free to stick around as our club members will be leading tours of the new Art Center. Thank you again for everyone uh, for coming out tonight. We appreciate your support and we hope you enjoy the tours. I'll be around if you have questions. Any of the staff can answer questions too. But uh, for those of you who spoke tonight, if you can come up, we'll do a picture in front of the blue door.
play here. Hey, how it's going? Let's get one straight on here too. Everybody right here. One, two, three. All right, thank you.